Hi, I will show you what's new in the Draft X-Ray, the new drafting feature of the quad strips. So let's add low poly mesh and remove the vertices. And then from the left sidebar, select the Draft X-Ray quads. Shift F to resize and then left click and drag. And the snapping is the find for this tool in the Draft X-Ray panel. So even though it is disabled for modeling, it is still used for, hair, for drawing of the quads. So we are snapping now to all objects. So if I add one more object and go back to my low poly uh, strip, you see we are snapping to both of objects at the same time. So just be careful because if you have uh, lots of objects, this can be very slow to calculate the snapping cache. So sometimes you may prefer to switch to single object snap, then pick your object. Now when I draft, we see it is only snapping to the Susan. I will undo this and uh, I will uh, maybe go back to the all object snapping. And before continue, I will explain the update process. So now this is uh, distributed as extension. So to update, go to Blender Preferences and click Get ext Extension. And then on the right, open this pop-up menu and select Install zip file from the disk to update the add-on. You may need to remove old add-on version and instead replace this with the extension version. Uh, after that, the following updates will be available automatically from the new built-in auto-updater from the Draft X-Ray preferences. Okay, so I will uh, uh, explain those settings in here. If I disable auto space and auto radius, we get this kind of result. I can increase spacing to two. So the spacing now will be twice the size of the brush, something like this. And uh, now if I want to drag the stroke to the bottom, you see the issue is that the brush is too small. So instead of manually adjusting size with Shift F, I can enable auto radius. So now it will adjust the brush size automatically to the depending on the first edge. So if I move to the left, it will be automatically bigger. Now let's say I want to extend this uh, stroke to the right. Now the spacing is not consistent with the left part. It is because I would have to like manually adjust spacing back to one. But instead of doing this manually, I can enable auto spacing. And now if I show you, I can extend this to the right. And if I extend this to the top, it will automatically get narrow uh, width of the stroke and narrow spacing in the, uh, in the right direction. Uh, finally, there is the option to split undo. So if I draft stroke now, it will undo everything. With split undo, it will undo one by one each quad. Finally, I will explain the snapping. So when I draft the stroke, you see two colorful dots on the brush outline. They will basically <coughs> search for close edge that uh, the brush can uh, snap into. So when I snap to this like first edge and move the brush outside of the close loop, you see now I can change the flow uh, of the snap direction. Uh, let's say I will maybe I remove this part of the mesh or draw it like that. Uh, I can snap to the both edges at the same time like that. Now the one thing to get a good result with this uh, driving of this stroke feature. Uh, basically, when I, I uh, draw the stroke, I do not just click and then drag because you will get ugly result because probably the tangent of the stroke will be very bad at the beginning. So you see when I click and without dragging, the tangent is kind of random. And this will probably give bad results. So to get used to first moving your brush in the stroke direction and then clicking. So I move stroke my brush to the bottom, click, and then we will get proper tangent. The tangent is this like bluish line and this will fill the everything correctly. 
So it may take a bit of getting used to, but then with that, with that you will get a good result uh, each time. And okay, now let's go to the something more uh, complicated. In here I have low poly setup with the snap settings. If I show you, I am using snap to collection and the collection is body. So basically body is uh, collection containers, the body and the head. If I tap into edit mode, I have automatically have the draft X-ray quads tool enabled. You may need, uh, you may notice a small delay uh, because on uh, when you enter edit mode and the draft quad is enabled, it will calculate snapping cache. So the calculation may take a bit of time on the beginning when you enter the edit mode. So you see it is quite easy and fun to paint this rather than manually extruding everything. And uh, maybe let's do this like that. And the results are not the best, uh, but okay. So I do not like the snapping in here. So uh, if I do not want to snap to the right side, I have to keep my brush close to the left side. So it won't be snapping to here. Or instead I could go with this side and then fill this side. And uh, the new draft quad feature is kind of good with the volume smoothing. Uh, it is good companion because you can smooth out quickly the results. I do not like this flow, so I will dissolve, dissolve this loop. Now we get more uniform distribution. Maybe I will create a bundle of those two plugins together. Okay, so let's fill this part. Maybe go to the back. And maybe fill this part. So you see it is quite uh, easy and quite fast to fill all those uh, geometry. And okay, let's go to the back. And in here, I want to something like this. And then I want to draw stroke to the top. Now, I do not like this result. So sometimes it is hard to get rid. Like if you start very close to this loop, it won't generate this quad. But sometimes it may take you like few, few tries before it works. So instead, you could go maybe first to the right and then draw the quads like that. And yes, I think that is kind of everything I wanted to show <clears throat> how to use this. And hope you like this uh, update and uh, see ya.